um, let uh, S be setup cost. And that is always on a per order basis. So it's the amount of money incurred on per transaction that we initiate. And so example, we can uh, let S be uh, $100 per order. So what that means is, is example, if uh, my cost is I'm paid at $50 an hour and I spend two hours to prepare, uh, communicate, call up the supplier to verify the order and so on and so forth. So all in, I'm, I spend two hours to confirm and ensure that the order is properly made to the supplier, then the setup cost would be $100. And assuming the supplier pays for transportation and there is no other cost incurred uh, for the shipment to arrive at our warehouse. So next, we let H be the holding cost. Remember holding cost? Holding cost is always on a per unit per year basis. So uh, we are selling tires. So example, holding cost is, uh, assuming each tire is $20, uh, we're going to say we spend $2 per tire per year. Okay, so we sell tires. One of the reasons why we sell tires <laughs> in the example uh, be, is because uh, tires, they hold up their values and their values do not decompose, do not deteriorate uh, drastically with time, rapidly with time. So uh, this is known as uh, non-perishable goods in inventory management speak. And uh, in this model, the EOQ model, we require that the inventory goods be non-perishable so that uh, our assumption hold up, for example, the holding cost of $2 to protect uh, tires which are ready to be sold at their original prices is uh, going to make sense because if tire decompose and they cannot be sold anymore, their worth is zero, it doesn't make sense to spend $2 to protect them. So, right, we sell tires, uh, assume that each tire all right uh costs cost us right not cost uh not the cost to our customers so cost us twenty dollars to buy all right so as a one-time purchase uh cost and that is purchase cost so so uh this means c is twenty dollars so that is our purchase cost per unit all right furthermore we are going to assume that Assume that demand is constant. All right. That is further, and the demand rate is also constant. That is, every day there will be a customer buying a certain number of tires. Or more, more correctly, certain number of tires will be sold uh, definitely every day, right? So we further assume that one year equals to three hundred days for simplicity. All right, so this is uh, quite normal because, uh, in fact, we might see problems that say one year has two hundred fifty days, and and that's normal because if we subtract off Saturday and Sundays that do not generate demands because factories are closed and the tires are not moving, are not sold, um, that would already remove 112 days a year. So that, that is, it, it's quite, and then and we haven't subtracted the public holidays and other days that certain countries might uh, have extended celebration over. So uh, let's just for simplicity assume one year is 300 days. But what you need to check is that each question may assume different days and so you want to be wary of uh, making sure this is correct assumption. Right, so there's you. you uh, what is not correct is to always assume that one year has three hundred sixty-five days, because on weekends that the factory, the warehouse don't operate, demands are not generated. Right, so we need to average them out over other days. Now, uh, let's let's move on. So what we want to do is this. Uh, let's explore. So so we know that annually there will be uh, six hundred tires. Uh, furthermore, demand is constant. Therefore, we let D 
be daily demand. All right, and that is basically saying that. Uh, so this means that D has to be uh, a fixed number of tires because we have we have to uh, tally with the annual demand and the number of days in a year. Right. So definitely speaking, we have twenty tires a day. Per day, right? So it's daily demand. Now it is also fixed. So every day we will sell twenty tires for sure. No more and no less. Now then we explore. All right. Explore means how can we load up our warehouse at the start of the year? Say we start the year at Jan first, uh, twenty twenty one, knowing that the entire year for twenty twenty one will sell just exactly six thousand tires. Now one way to do that is to uh, basically say that we have uh, so so this is one year all right we can load up our warehouse at 6,000 tires if that's the case then we essentially will end up having a curve like this uh, or rather a line like this right we'll sell and sell and sell and sell and then we'll end up uh, reaching zero definitively within a year okay so that is uh, selling d tires now that is this means this is uh, having high uh, advantage is having uh, low annual setup because how many times do we incur setup cost one time and that's as little as it can get but very high what we are buying six thousand tires if you think about it we need high rental costs for sure right because of the sheer physical space it takes so we'll incur high holding costs and that's annually yes now what are other strategies well we can try to uh, load up less by by buying each time uh, half the annual amount of tires all right so when we do that then we will sell and sell and sell and very soon we will be running out of tires and if we further assume that the lead time is L days so assume lead time equals to L uh, suppose it is uh, how many days three days so L days before we expect to reach end of uh, end of our inventory level we can begin to call the supplier right so we can make an order let me just draw a quick telephone here the old-fashioned style uh, so we can order tires and lead time is the definition of it is the time it takes for the supplier uh, from receiving our order to delivering the orders to our warehouse so so this means that we'll 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 receive it in three days time right it is a constant and of course in real life it is never a constant but in our model we assume it is fixed it is uh, no earlier in particular uh, but also no later so we'll receive another 3000 uh, tires all right in three days time and the cycle then repeats so in a year we'll have two orders right but we'll save a lot on the space half the amount of space roughly speaking maybe slightly more than half Right. but we can keep going like this we can keep going like this and uh, doing d divided by 4 actually we don't have to divide by 4 but that's just to uh, have an easier calculation right on the screen here so we can divide by 4 and uh, end up having I don't want to mix with the L so let's just end up here okay and uh, then L days before we'll, we'll buy again and then we'll sell again uh, it will reach us okay and then we'll buy again and then it will reach us halfway there 
and then we'll buy again and then we'll sell some more right so we can see that if we buy at quarter of the demand we must commit four times of buying so that's nice to know and in the extreme we come in every day and buy exactly the demand that is generated per day we just worked out right so the daily demand is 20 times so every day uh, uh, it's just going to be a lot of uh, uh, tiny little triangles right uh, relative to 1500 20 shouldn't be even visible so i'm just exaggerating it a little bit to show that every day we we just come in spend exactly two hours because uh, our assumption is that setup cost is fixed not sensitive to not reacting to the change in quantities so whether we order 20 tires or 6000 tires we spend the same amount of s dollars notice that yeah so uh, therefore this particular strategy will have exactly the opposite effect we have very high annual setup cost and very very low uh, annual holding cost make sense yeah, because uh, we are holding just 20 tires at any one time and that is probably taking up just a table size worth of uh, stacked up tires really very economical but every day uh, I'm spending two hours right so if every day um, I am uh, spending or the company is spending hundred dollars for the order that might not sound like a lot until you multiply by uh, a few hundred here how many are there uh, that would be 300 orders right because every day we are ordering so 300 orders times hundred dollars a day that's thirty thousand dollars so that's very expensive in terms of setup costs annually now the question then is that if we order d so let's call our order quantity q here so let q be our order quantity question can we control q and the answer is yes we decide right what uh, how big how, or how small is q so q is our control quantity uh, we decide and certainly we like to have a q that uh, is going to give us the best deal right best deal in terms of well we need a, an objective function but if you recall our objective function there's only one that is the total cost of annual setup and annual holding so one strategy low annual setup high annual holding the other extreme strategy high annual setup low annual holding it makes us wonder is there a q somewhere in between right so the q the order quantity is there a q order quantity somewhere in between this rainbow st spectrum here that will give us the best and does it make sense to even say the best or there are multiple the best or you know so basically we are not very sure and so what uh what is going to happen is we should then try to talk about the annual total cost right that the total cost that we talked about and this is of course uh, always having this notion of annual right annual total cost is going to be uh, let's just write in English uh, what our intention is annual uh, setup cost plus annual holding cost all right so that's our intention now our job is to uh, concretize it by finding suitable mathematical quantities to represent them let's look at annual setup costs we certainly want to say that uh, s dollars per order is involved uh, and that is to be multiplied by the number of orders now remember the number of orders occurring in a year because it's annual will have to be tallied with the number of spikes in the triangles because remember um, from our illustration a triangle a triangle or right angle triangle is equal to one order so we are able to visualize that uh this this order which is a business activity not so visible to real life uh can now be visualized with a triangle so if we take up the order 3000 units every time 
strategy, then there will be two triangles, which means we'll have two orders. Yeah. So uh, let's write that down. One triangle, if we order one, so if